silence. It's the first thing you notice when the world stops spinning. When the chaos subsides and the noise fades away, what remains? In that moment of perfect stillness, you might hear your own heartbeat, steady and strong. You might feel the weight of your breath rising and falling like the tide. And in that silence, you'll find a power that's been there all along, waiting for you to recognize it. Have you ever wondered why the most influential people often speak the least? Why those who command respect rarely raise their voice? It's not coincidence. It's not happenstance. It's the power of silence, a force so potent it can move mountains without making a sound. Think back to a time when you were faced with a challenge that seemed insurmountable. Did you conquer it by shouting at the top of your lungs? Or did you find your strength in the quiet moments? In the space between words. In the silence that allow your mind to clear and your resolve to strengthen. Silence is not the absence of something, but the presence of everything. It's in silence that we find our true selves, uncluttered by the opinions of others, unburdened by the need to respond, to defend, to explain. In silence, we are whole. Consider the great wood trees that have stood for centuries, weathering storms and fires, droughts and floods. They don't cry out in pain. They don't bemoan their fate. They stand silent and strong. Their very existence a testament to history is filled with examples of those who change the world, not through loud proclamations, but through silent, unwavering commitment to their cause. Mahatma Gandhi's silent fast spoke volumes, shaking the foundations of an empire. Rosa Parks' quiet refusal to give up her seat sparked a movement that would reshape a nation. Their silence was not weakness, but a demonstration of unshakable strength. But the power of silence isn't just anecdotal. Science has begun to unravel the profound impact that silence can have on our minds and bodies. Research has shown that periods of silence can actually promote the growth of new brain cells. Imagine that. In the quiet moments, your brain is literally growing. Silence reduces cortisol levels. The hormone associated with stress, it lowers blood pressure, enhances sleep quality, and boosts your immune system. In a world that never stops talking, silence might just be the most potent medicine we have. But it's not just about the physical benefits. Silence sharpens our mental acuity. It allows us to process information more deeply, to see connections that we might otherwise miss in the noise of daily life. In silence, creativity flourishes. Ideas that have been simmering beneath the surface rise to consciousness, unimpeded by the constant chatter of the outside world. Think of the last truly great idea you had. Did it come to you in the middle of a crowded, noisy room, or did it emerge in a moment of quiet reflection when your mind was free to wander and explore. Silence is the soil in which our deepest thoughts take root. It's the canvas on which we paint our dreams, the forge in which we temper our resolve. In silence, we become the architects of our own destiny, unbounded by the limitations others would impose upon us. But embracing silence isn't easy. We live in a world that values noise, that equates volume with importance. We're bombarded with information, with opinions, with the incessant drone of a society that's forgotten how to be still. To silence in this cacophony is an act of rebellion, a declaration of independence from the tyranny of noise. It takes courage to be silent when others expect you to speak. It takes strength to remain calm when the world around you is in chaos. But in that silence, in that calm, you'll find a power that no amount of shouting can match. Remember, the most powerful forces in nature often work in silence. Gravity doesn't need to announce itself to keep us grounded. The earth doesn't need to shout as it spins on its axis. The sun doesn't need to proclaim its brightness to light up our world. They simply are silent and omnipotent. You, too, can harness this power. When faced with adversity, resist the urge to lash out, to defend yourself with words. Instead, draw strength from your silence. Let your actions speak for you. Let your resolve be your voice. In silence, you'll find clarity. You'll see the world not as it appears on the surface, but as it truly is. 
you'll understand that most battles are won not through confrontation, but through the quiet persistence of those who refuse to be moved. Think of silence as a form of alchemy. It transforms the base metal of our everyday experiences into the gold of wisdom. It distills the essence of our being, stripping away the unnecessary until only our true selves. But silence isn't just about personal growth. It's a powerful tool for change on a larger scale in a world where everyone is shouting to be heard. A moment of silence can be deafening. It demands attention, commands respect. It creates a space for reflection, for introspection, for real communication. So consider the power of a silent protest. Thousands of people united in purpose, standing together without a word. The silence speaks volumes carrying a message far more potent than any slogan or chant. Uh, It's a demonstration of collective will of unshakable determination. In your personal life, in your professional endeavors, in your quest for growth and fulfillment, remember the power of silence. When others rant and rave, when the world seems to be spinning out of control, find your center in the quiet moments. Let silence be your strength, your shield, your secret weapon, As you move through life, cultivate moments of silence. Start small, a few minutes each day where you disconnect from the noise of the world. No phones, no television, no conversation, just you in the silence. You might be surprised at what you hear when you stop listening to everything else. In these moments of silence, you'll find answers to questions you didn't even know you had. You'll find strength you didn't know you possessed. You'll find a version of yourself that's been waiting to emerge, unburdened by the expectations and judgments of others. Remember, true power doesn't need to announce itself. It doesn't need validation or recognition. It simply is. And in the silence, you'll find that power within yourself. As we continue our exploration of this profound truth, we'll delve deeper into the art of maintaining composure in the face of adversity. We'll examine how the outward manifestation of inner silence can become a formidable tool in navigating life's challenges. But for now, let the silence sink in. Let it permeate your being. For in this silence, you're laying the foundation for a strength that will carry you through whatever lies ahead. Uh, The power of silence is not just a concept to be understood, but a practice to be lived. It's a journey of self-discovery, a path to inner peace, and a source of strength that never runs dry. As you embrace this power, you'll find yourself transforming, becoming more resilient, more focused, more in tune with your true self. In the silence, you'll find your voice. In the quiet moments, you'll hear the whispers of your own wisdom. And in that stillness, you'll discover a power that no external force can ever take away from you. So as we move forward, remember, your silence is your strength. Your calm is your power. In a world that never stops talking, be the one who listens, be the one who opts with purpose and intention, unbothered by the noise around you. The journey doesn't end here. It's just beginning. And in the silence, you'll find the strength to face whatever comes next. As we stand on the foundation of silence, we find ourselves at the threshold of a greater challenge. How do we maintain that inner peace when the world around us is in chaos? How do we remain unbothered when life seems determined to rattle us to our core? Uh, This is where we step into the art of composure, So sure isn't just about keeping a straight face. It's about maintaining an unshakable inner calm that radiates outward, influencing everything and everyone around you. It's the ability to stand firm in the face of adversity, to remain centered when others lose their balance. Think of a time when you've been truly rattled. Your heart races, your palms sweat, your mind races from one panic thought to another. Now imagine if you could face that same situation with a calm demeanor a clear mind, and a steady hand. That's the power of composure. But how do we achieve this state? It starts with understanding that composure is not about suppressing emotions, but about mastering them. It's about recognizing our feelings, acknowledging them, and then choosing how we respond to them. 
The first step in this mastery is self-awareness. You need to become intimately familiar with your emotional landscape. What triggers your anger? What situations make you anxious? When do you feel most vulnerable? By understanding these patterns, you can start to anticipate your reactions and prepare for them. Once you've identified your emotional triggers, you can begin to develop strategies to manage them. One powerful technique is the practice of mindfulness. This involves observing your thoughts and feelings without judgment, as if you were watching them pass by like clouds in the sky. E by creating this mental distance. You give yourself the space to choose your response rather than being swept away by your initial reaction. Your other key aspect of maintaining composure is learning to control your physical response to stress. When we're under pressure, our bodies naturally go into fight or flight mode, our heart rate increases, our breathing becomes shallow, and our muscles tense. By consciously controlling these physical reactions, we can short-circuit the stress response. Try this time you feel your composure slipping. Take a deep breath. Inhale slowly through your nose, feeling your belly expand. Hold it for a moment, then exhale slowly through your mouth. This simple act sends a signal to your brain that you're safe, helping to calm your nervous system. As you practice these techniques, you'll find that maintaining your composure becomes easier. It becomes a habit, a natural state of being rather than something you have to consciously work at. And as you cultivate this inner calm, you'll notice something remarkable. The world around you begins to change. People are naturally drawn to those who exude calm confidence. When you maintain your composure in challenging situations, you become a source of stability for others. Your calm demeanor can diffuse tense situations, inspire confidence in your team, and command respect from your peers. Consider the impact of a leader who loses their cool under pressure versus one who remains composed. The first spreads panic and uncertainty, while the second instills confidence and clarity. Which would you rather follow? Which would you rather be? Uh, but the benefits of composure extend far beyond how others perceive you. When you're able to maintain your calm in the face of adversity, you're able to think more clearly, make better decisions, and respond more effectively to challenges. You're not reacting from a place of fear or anger, but acting from a place of clarity and purpose. This doesn't mean you become emotionless or detached. On the contrary, true composure allows you to engage more fully with life, to experience your emotions without being controlled by them. It's about having the strength to feel deeply while maintaining the clarity to act wisely. Think of composure as a superpower in a world that's constantly trying to knock you off balance. You have the ability to stand firm, firm. In situations where others panic, you remain calm. When faced with challenges that would overwhelm most people, you maintain your focus and clarity. But like any skill, composure requires practice. It's not something you achieve once and then have forever. It's a daily practice, a constant refinement of your ability to remain centered in the face of life's challenges. One powerful way to develop this skill is skill is through visualization. Spend time each day imagining yourself maintaining your composure in challenging situations. See yourself responding calmly to criticism, staying focused under pressure, or navigating complex problems with ease. By rehearsing these scenarios in your mind, you're preparing yourself to handle them in real life. Another crucial aspect of maintaining composure is learning to let go. Often, our composure is shaken not by what's happening in the present moment, but by our worries about the future or regrets about the past. By learning to stay present, to focus on what's in front of you rather than what might be or what could have been, you cultivate a natural state of calm. This doesn't mean ignoring the lessons of the past or failing to plan for the future. It means not allowing those thoughts to disturb your peace in the present moment. It's about maintaining a clear perspective, understanding what you can control and what you can't, and focusing your energy where it can have the most impact. As you develop your ability to maintain composure, 
you'll find that it becomes a source of strength in all areas of your life. In your personal relationships, you'll be able to navigate conflicts with grace and understanding. In your professional life, you'll be able to take on greater challenges with confidence and clarity. And in your own personal growth, you'll find a sense of inner peace that allows you to pursue your goals with unwavering determination. But perhaps the most powerful aspect of composure is its ability to influence those around you. When you remain calm in the face of adversity, you create a space for others to find their own calm. Your composure becomes contagious, spreading to those around you and creating an atmosphere of stability and clarity. Think of the last time you were in a crisis situation. Who were the people you looked to for guidance? Chances are they were the ones who maintained their composure, who seemed unshaken by the chaos around them. By cultivating this quality in yourself, you become that source of strength for others. There's a saying that calm cities don't make skilled sailors in the same way. A life without challenges doesn't build composure. It's through facing difficulties, through weathering storms, that we develop this invaluable skill. Each challenge you face is an opportunity to practice, to refine your ability to remain unbothered in the face of adversity. So how do you put this into practice? Start small. The next time you feel your composure slipping, pause. Take a deep breath. Remind yourself of your inner strength, of the power you hold when you remain calm. Then choose your response consciously, acting from a place of composure rather than reacting from a place of emotion. As you practice, you'll find that your capacity for composure grows. Situations that once would have rattled you now barely cause a ripple. You'll find yourself able to navigate increasingly complex and challenging situations with grace and ease. But remember, composure isn't about being passive or allowing others to take advantage of you. It's about responding to life's challenges from a place of strength rather than weakness. It's about choosing your battles wisely and aging in them with clarity and purpose. In fact, true composure often requires great courage. It takes strength to remain calm when others are losing their heads. It takes bravery to stand firm in your convictions when faced with opposition. But it's in these moments that your composure becomes your greatest asset, allowing you to act with wisdom and integrity. As we continue on this journey, remember that composure is not the end goal. It's a tool a means to an end. The ultimate aim is to live a life of purpose and meaning to make a positive impact on the world around you. Composure is what allows you to do this effectively, to pursue your goals with clarity and determination, unbothered by the obstacles that inevitably arise. In the science, we found our strength. In composure, we learn to wield that strength with grace and purpose, and as we move forward, we'll discover how to channel this power into action, how to use our calm resolve to create real change in our lives and in the world around us. The Art of Composure is a lifelong practice. It's a journey of continual growth and refinement. But with each step you take, with each challenge you face with calm resolve, you become stronger, you become more centered, you become more you. So as we prepare to take the next step on this journey, hold on to that sense of inner calm. Let it be your anchor in the storms of life, your compass when the way forward seems unclear. For in your composure, you hold the key to unlocking your true potential. And remember, uh, the goal is not to be unbothered by everything. It's to choose what bothers you. It's to respond rather than react. It's to face life's challenges with a clear mind and a steady. This is the true art of composure. And it's a skill that will serve you. As we move forward, we'll explore how to translate this inner calm into outer action. How to use your composure as a foundation for achievement. For making a real difference in the world. But for now... Take a moment to appreciate how far you've come. Feel the strength of your silence, the power of your composure. This is just the beginning. Silence is power. Composure is strength. But what good is power if it's never used? What purpose does strength serve if it's never applied? 
This is where we step into the realm of silent action, the true path to victory. Uh, Silent action is the culmination of everything we've discussed. It's the point where inner calm meets outer purpose, where composed strength transforms into tangible results. It's the art of moving through the world with intention and impact, all while maintaining that unshakable core of silence and composure. Think about the most effective people, you know. Are they the ones who are constantly talking about what they're going to do, or are they the ones who simply do it, letting their actions speak louder than any words ever could. Silent action is about focus. It's about channeling all of your energy, all of your composed strength into the tasks that truly matter. It's about cutting through the noise, the distractions, the endless chatter that so often derails our efforts and zeroing in on what's truly important. When you embrace silent action, you become like a laser beam All of your energy, all of your intention is focused on a single point. And just like a laser, that focused energy can cut through obstacles that would stop others in their tracks. But how do we cultivate this ability? How do we transform our silent strength and composed demeanor into effective action? It starts with clarity of purpose. You need to know with absolute certainty what you're working towards. What are your goals? What's your mission? What change do you want to see in the world? This clarity becomes your North Star guiding light. Once you have this clarity, the next step is to ruthlessly prioritize. In a world full of distractions, of endless demands on our time and attention, the ability to focus on what truly matters is a superpower. Look at your goals. Look at the tasks in front of you and ask yourself, which of these actions will have the greatest impact on achieving my purpose. This prioritization is where your silence and composure become invaluable tools. In the quiet moments, free from the clamor of others' opinions and expectations, you can clearly see what needs to be done. Your composure allows you to make these decisions, not from a place of stress or reactivity, but from a place of calm clarity. With your priority set, It's time to take action. But remember, we're talking about silent action. This isn't about making a big show of your efforts. It's not about seeking attention or praise. It's about putting your head down and doing the work. Day in and day out, regardless of whether anyone notices or appreciates it, think of water wearing away a stone. Each individual drop seems insignificant, but over time, with consistent action, even the hardest rock is shaped by the water's patient persistence. This is the power of silent action. Each small step, each focused effort might seem inconsequential in the moment. But over time, these actions accumulate, creating change that's both profound and lasting. This approach requires patience. It requires trust in the process. In a world that celebrates overnight success and instant gratification, the path of silent action can sometimes feel slow. But remember, the most meaningful changes, the most significant achievements rarely happen overnight. They're the result consistent, focused effort over time. As you walk this path, you'll encounter obstacles. There will be setbacks, disappointments, moments when it feels like all your efforts are in vain. This is where your composure becomes crucial. Instead of getting frustrated, instead of complaining or giving up, you remain calm. You assess the situation objectively. You adjust your approach if necessary, and then you keep moving forward. This resilience, this ability to persist in the face of adversity, is one of the most powerful aspects of silent action. It's easy to keep going when everything is smooth sailing. The real test comes when you hit rough waters. But when you combine the inner piece of silence with the steady resolve of composure, you create an unshakable foundation for persistent act. Consider the great changes in history. More often than not, they weren't the result of grand gestures or rousing speeches. They were the cumulative effect of many people taking small, consistent actions over time. Each person, in their own way, quietly doing what needed to be done. This is the power you hold when you embrace silent action. 
But silent action isn't just about achieving external goals. It's also a powerful tool for personal growth. Each time you choose to act with purpose rather than react out of emotion, you're strengthening your self-discipline. Each time you persist in the face of challenges, you're building resilience. Each time you achieve a goal through consistent effort, you're reinforcing your belief in yourself and your abilities. As you continue on this path, you'll find that your capacity for effective action grows. Tasks that once seemed daunting become manageable. Goals that once seemed out of reach become attainable. You become more productive, more focused, more impactful in everything you do. But perhaps the most profound effect of embracing silent action is the sense of peace it brings. There's a deep satisfaction in knowing that you're consistently moving towards your goals, that you're making a real difference, even if others don't see it. You no longer need external validation or recognition because you know the value of your efforts. This inner satisfaction becomes a source of strength in itself. It fuels your continued efforts, creating a positive feedback loop of action and fulfillment. The more you do, the more capable you feel. The more capable you feel, the more you're able to do. As you cultivate this practice of silent action, you'll find that it influences every aspect of your life. In your personal relationships, you become someone who consistently shows up, who demonstrates their care through actions rather than just words. In your professional life, you become known as someone who can be counted on to get things done, who delivers results without drama or fanfare. But the impact goes beyond your immediate sphere of influence. As you achieve your goals, as you create positive change in your life and in the lives of those around you, you become an inspiration to others. Not through preaching or self-emotion, but through the simple power of your example, People will notice the change in you. They'll see your calm demeanor, your focused action, the results you're achieving, and they'll be drawn to it. They'll want to know your secret. And in this way, your silent action becomes a catalyst or change far beyond what you might have initially imagined. Remember, the goal here isn't to live a life of isolation or to never speak up. There are times when your voice needs to be heard when you need to stand up and be counted. But by cultivating the habit of silent action, you ensure that when you do speak, your words carry the weight of your deeds behind them. As we near the end of our journey, take a moment to reflect on how far you've come. You've discovered the power of silence, cultivated the art of composure, and now you're harnessing these skills to take effective action in your life. You've become a force of nature, calm on the surface, but with a deep current of purposeful action flowing beneath. This is your path to victory, not through loud proclamations or showy gestures, but through consistent, focused, silent action. It's a path that requires patience, persistence, and unwavering commitment to your purpose, Uh, but it's also a path that leads to profound change, both in your own life and in the So as you move forward from here, remember, your silence is your strength. Your composure is your power. And your actions, those quiet, consistent, purposeful actions are what will ultimately shape your destiny. (laughs) The world is full of noise, full of people clamoring for attention, full of distractions, pulling you in a thousand different directions. But you now have the tools to cut through all of that. You have the ability to remain centered, to stay focused on what truly matters, and to take consistent action towards your goals. This is your superpower. This is your path to victory. And it all starts with a simple choice, the choice to be silent, to remain composed, and to act with purpose. As you leave here today, carry this knowledge with you. Let it infuse every aspect of your life. Be the calm in the storm, the steady hand in times of chaos, the one who gets things done while others are still talking about it. Uh, Be the embodiment of silent action. And remember, it's just in the end. It's just the beginning. 
everyday presence, new opportunities to practice these skills, to refine your approach, to make a greater impact, embrace these opportunities. Use them to grow stronger, to become more effective, to move closer to your goal. You have within you the power to create profound change, not through grand gestures or loud proclamations, but through the quiet, persistent force of silent action. This is your path. This is your strength. Uh, This is your victory. Now go forth and act silently, purposefully, relentlessly. The world is waiting for the change you will create.